Hey everyone, in this video we are going to create some credentials on our AWS account. This is the last preparation video. After this, the serverless framework will be able to deploy functions to our AWS account and then we can get started on building an application with Lambda. So the first thing we need is some credentials and on AWS those are managed by IAM. So here I am in the AWS management console and I'm going to go to services. I'm going to scroll down to security, identity and compliance and I'm going to open up the IAM control panel. In the IAM control panel, I'm going to open up the user section and I'm going to click on add a new user. I'm going to call this user serverless CLI. And I'm going to give this user programmatic access and I'm not going to give it AWS management console access because it only needs to use the AWS APIs and it doesn't need access to this whole management console. Next, we need to give it some permissions. So I'm going to click on next. I'm going to attach an existing policy directly and I'm going to choose the administrator access policy. Note that giving full administrator access to a user is generally not recommended. However, the serverless framework recommends doing this because they need new permissions all the time. So once the development of new features stops, they will publish a limited set of permissions and that will be a lot safer. For now, however, we will continue with giving it admin rights. But note that these rights are only available to the command line interface of the framework and not to the resources that you deploy. So more on that in a later video, but basically it's a little bit insecure to do it right now, but it's also not that bad. So I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to click on next. Here we have to review the information that we entered and this all seems fine. So I'm going to go ahead and click create user. This will generate an access key and a secret key. So make sure to download the CSV file with the credentials or to write them down because you cannot see them again. You can only reset them. So I'm going to leave this window open and go ahead and give these credentials to serverless. So I'm going to open up a terminal window here and I'm going to type SLS config. So I'm going to configure the serverless framework. I'm going to configure the credentials part and I'm going to say that my provider is AWS. This could also be the Google Cloud or it could be Microsoft Azure. And then I'm going to give it a key. This is my access key that AWS generated for me. So I'm going to copy that, paste it in there. And then I'm also going to give it my secret. And then I'm going to show it, copy it as well and paste it in the terminal. So when we execute this command, the serverless framework will create an AWS profile with these keys and it will use it for all future requests. What this will do behind the scenes is create a hidden AWS directory in your home folder and store these credentials in there as the default profile. So in fact, if I change directory into AWS and I see what files are in here, there's a file called credentials and this contains the default profile, which contains the access key that I just give it and the secret key that we just gave it. So that was it for this video. In the next video, I will show you how to create your first serverless project and how a project structure looks like in serverless. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video.